He made us great, so let us be great. I was glad when they said unto me, let us, let us, let us come into the house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. You already seated for our invocation, so let us pray. Thank God for those who are still coming in. Amen. Praise God. We thank you, Lord, for this time, this day, this moment, this hour. Thank you for allowing us to come together one more time into the household of faith. Didn't know if we would make it this day, Lord, but thank you. This is a day that we never seen, and we shall never see it again. So, God, we just pray that you will be in the midst of this service, Lord. We pray that you will get all the glory and the honor. We pray, God, that 
that you just come in and sit with us, Lord. We pray for the preacher as they come today and all these young people as they minister um, songs. God, you get the glory out of our lives. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Let our hearts say amen. 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 So we will begin our service or our day of worship. We will bring light into the sanctuary. It's a symbol. The symbol reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world as she bows to the cross in reference to the Savior who gave his life. We light two candles. Candle on the right represents Jesus in human form. Amen. Candle on the left. Oh, bless us, Lord. There it is. The candle on the left <laughs> represents Jesus as the only begotten son. And what we just want the Lord to do is just we just want to give him all the glory and honor. Everything we do and everything we say, we want him to get the glory because if he doesn't come here, if he's not in the midst of the service, then our coming together will be in vain. Amen? Amen. So will you stand with us as we sing our opening hymn? A uh, familiar hymn is um, Hold to God's Unchanging Hand. It's on the monitor as well in your hymn book, uh, number 45.
God's unchanging hand, holding on to the word of God, holding on to his promises. Amen. Amen. So Nina will come, praise God, and lead us in our responsive reading. Thank you. Your responsive reading will be found on the second page, oh, um, in the back of your hymnals, second page 41, second Sunday morning after Pentecost. Then Peter... Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, let it be known to you all and to all of the people of Israel. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor to nor in the name of Jesus. Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you more than to God, you judge. Together, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. As you can see, the youth are leading us today, and Sister Malay is coming to lead us with the Apostle Creed. Amen? Amen. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Apostle Creed, page 705. I believe in the God, the Father Almighty, Savior of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he is sent by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Name Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he sent it into heaven, and sit it on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From this he shall come in the quick end of the day. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. They're doing such an awesome job. Amen. Okay, so as you can see, um, pastor's not here. However, uh, the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Yeah, we come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. However, he has left us in capable hands, someone that can preach and will preach, and we'll say more about him or them later. But um, now we're going to go further in the service um, with our scripture lesson from Psalms 23 and six, 
and 27 and 4. And then Brother Brent is going to lead us in our prayer. Amen? Amen. 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 There she is. Good morning. Good morning. I will be reading Psalms 23, verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 27, verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. About you, morning. About you, guys. Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for everybody in attendance. We thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for food, clothing, and shelter, Lord. We thank you for bringing us here today to edify your name. Um, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. <laughs> God loves a cheerful giver, amen. Thank God for Brother Brent.
Norman Hutchins. for healing, a season for comfort, a season for peace, a season, a season. It's your season for graduation. Yes, it's our season. Praise God. I got to have a sticky note. All right, so we'll do our announcements now. And by the way, uh, we just want to say uh, to our visitors who are here, um, Michael Jordan, Pastor Barnett, Dr. Clifford Barnett is not here. However, he'll be back next week. 
Um, so all the visitors are here. If you come back next week, he'll be here. We still want to welcome you. Um, to those who are looking online, you could have chosen anybody and gone anywhere, but you took time for us to be a part of our worship service, so we just want to say thank you for that. Um, and to, uh, well, we'll talk more about that for our graduates. Okay, so we'll have our announcements now by Sister Roti, Roti, I'm talking about Rotisserie Chicken, by Sister <laughs> Titi. Rotaria, right? Not Rotisserie. Say your full, what's your full name, your government name? Rotaria Williams. Rotaria Williams, better known as Titi! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. These are your morning announcements for the week. Memorial Day, Monday, May 27th, 2024. Remember and honor those who gave their lives. Cameron's painting, Freedom for All, We Are One, will go on exhibit Thursday, May 30th, at the Pepco Edison Place Gallery in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Lateral celebration for Bishop Kenneth Monroe, Saturday, June 4th, June 1st, 2024, Simon Temple. Local preachers class, Monday, June 3rd, 2024, 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. Graduate Sunday, Sunday, June 9th, 2024, 9.30 a.m. All graduates should wear their caps and gowns for the worship service. Wilmington District Sunday School Convention and Baccalaureate, Saturday, June 8th, 2024, 9 a.m. June 9th, 2024, 3 o'clock p.m. St. Philip Ain Zion Church, 2913 Acorn Branch Road, Wilmington, North Carolina. Summers Leadership Institute, Thursday, June 6th and Friday 7th, 2024, the Kenneth Monroe Transformation Center, Rock Hills, South Carolina. Reminder for parents, start looking for summer camps now. And ways to give, Warner Temple, Am Zion Church, P.O. Box, 1113, Wilmington, North Carolina. Give Life, Zell, and Cash App. Be a member of the Open the Car Door Ministry Mondays, through Friday, 6.45 a.m., D.C. Virgo. Warner Temple Intercessory Prayer, Wednesdays at 11.15 a.m., dial 716-427-1585. Access code 972-731. Bible study via Zoom, Wednesdays at 11.30 a.m., 6.45 p.m. Meeting ID 817-6495-9287. Passcode 013-278. Join Zoom conference call 1301-715-8592 or 1312-626-6799. Narcotics <laughs> Anonymous Meetings every Thursday, 7 p.m. Warner Temple Conference Call, Noonday Prayer, Fridays at 12 noon, call 716-427-1585. Code number is 972-731. <clears throat> Remember to pray for our sick and shut-in members and friends. And thank you for donating to Maya and Amari for their 16th birthday. Well done. That's a lot of announcements, and she did it so proficiently. But we just want to lift up maybe two more announcements. Um, the Sunday School Convention is June the 8th and the 9th at St. Philip's. Um, uh, I know for Sunday, June the 9th, there, our very own Cassandra uh, will be leading. She's spearheading all of this. So um, she's leading that. And then the meditation for that day, June the 9th, that Sunday, at three o'clock, our very own Pastor Barnett will be doing the meditation. And then this choir, a portion of them and others, the girls and I have been traveling all around the district preparing for June the 9th. We have a youth district choir 
Um, last year, I think we had 17. Right now, we have 36 youth that will be singing. Amen. 36 youth that um, have committed to singing, and I know there's more. So will you please carve out some time for that uh, June the 8th and the 9th? Um, and then, by the way of Memorial Day, are there any veterans here in the house? Would you please stand? Amen. Thank you. If you will remain standing, just remain standing. It's a day to remember and honor those who, the, who made the ultimate sacrifice while serving in our military. Veterans Day, a day to show appreciation to those who have served in our military and are still living. We honor you. Amen. Amen. Okay, so now it's time for our children's uh, moment. If you're two years old, um, will you meet us down here at the front? Two to 18, if you'll meet us down here at the front and you're not married, hadn't been convicted, can you just meet us up here at the altar for our children's moment? Okay, please check the air. Yes. Amen, beautiful group of people here this morning. Amen. Thank God. Let's give him a hand again for all these young people. Amen. Hold up. I'm going to call you up in just a second. Um, so we just thank God for these young people. They're beautiful. One more time, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise for them. So as you know, Pastor Barnett is here, and he usually has two questions he wants. He would like to ask, are you doing good at the home, at school, doing well? Yes, you're doing good at school, home. Yes, yes, I'm just going down the line really quick to save time. You're doing good at school, at home? Yes. So it's, um, it's at the end of the school year, amen? Come on, young people, it's at the end of the school year. Have you um, had your EOGs? Yes, no, not yet. Are y'all in um, year-round school? When are your EOGs? Okay, next week or coming up. So we pray for you. Um, but do you have any special plans for the school, I mean, for um, the summertime? You have any plans already established? You want to share with us what you're doing for the summer? Um, so we are, like, traveling around the place. We are going to see some family, possibly in South Carolina. Beautiful. Near Charlotte as well. Okay. Maybe Raleigh, too. Good. You have plans for the summer already? Um, going to the Atlanta conference. Yeah. Yes. No, same, thing. same thing. You have plans this summer? Not yet? You know what you're doing this summer? <laughs> Must be seed, maybe? No? What you doing this summer? Going in the pool. Going in the pool? <laughs> Y'all got plans for the summer? You have plans for the summer? I'll be going to CFCC College Community, and I'll be having a birthday bash for India. Tell us what CFC, uh, what are you, what's your plan? Um, going to Cape Fear and what? Same thing she said. Just oh, my birthday. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you don't have plans yet? And your plans? Um, we're going to Tulum for a family trip for graduating for me and my sister. Yes. And then I also am going to Charlotte for a Jack and Jill teen conference. Beautiful. <laughs> So we just want to encourage you to enjoy your summer. Don't allow anything or anybody to corrupt what could be a blessing. You know, just stay focused. That's the key word for y'all today. Stay focused. Amen? Y'all say, stay focused. stay focused. Stay focused. So I've asked Sister Gracie because I'm um, not sure how to do the sign. So she is willing and ready to sign. So I brought my stool here so we can get a good view, as my father would say, on TV land. Good sight right there. Okay, and she's going to lead us with the song, um, Jesus Loves Me. Okay, we're ready. Yes, y'all singing. She just signed, and I don't know how to sign. All right, here we go. Jesus loves me. 
Yes. Yes. Look straight ahead. Straight ahead. Now, sign, Gracie. Good job. Amen. Stay focused. You may return back to your seats. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Just moving right along. As we said, uh, Pastor's not here, but he left us in capable hands with a young man that can preach and will preach. So this is the introduction of this young person. Um, I think he could play about four or five instruments, I think. Um, he loves his family, just love, love, love his family. Um, he is a humble servant. Um, so today we have Scotty Pittman by the way of Ronnie Williams. And so if you would just receive him in his own way, um, if you'll just, after the next, the next speaking voice will be uh, Brother Ronnie Williams. Will you just say, sing choir? Sing choir. Preach Brother Williams. Do you know Jesus? Does he live in your 
Come on, let's continue to give God a clear clap of praise. Do you know Jesus? It's asking a question. Do you know Jesus? How many know Jesus this morning? Amen. We just thank God for just being able to stand before you at this time and to uh, bring a word. Hope we bring inspiration and encouragement to your life. Father God, we come before you. We thank you for this another time that you allowed us to be in your house and in your presence. Lord God, we ask you to speak your word that your people may be blessed and be, may be strengthened, that you will continue to get the glory out of our lives. This we pray in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. 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 I'm not going to be before you long. However, I have a three-hour message. <laughs> but um, I got to use the bathroom. I'm nervous, so it's going to be cut very short. <laughs> but um, the scripture was read uh, earlier in the service. One coming from Psalms 23 and verse 6. The last time I was up here, I left my glasses. Yep. <laughs> I have them this time. <laughs> Amen. 20, 23 and verse 6. And it reads as, uh, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, next scripture is coming from Psalms 27 verse 4 and it said, One thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And uh, I would like to use for a uh, subject, it's in the house. I'm going to tell your neighbor, it's in the house. So David uh, was one that uh, he knew how to really word things and put things together. You, at the beginning of Psalms 27, it said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And we could go on reading different things about David, but uh, I picked this subject uh, because... When we refer to a house, uh, the house is referred to as a building for human habitation. This is where we live. This is where we uh, shelter ourselves from just the elements of the world and the protection. A house can also be referred to as a home, but however, they are different. A home is uh, put together by the people that lives therein. Yes, yes. So uh, when you look up the definition of a home, home is a place to live with our families and pets and enjoy friends. A place to build memories as well as a way to build a future of wealth. A place where we can truly just be ourselves. A safe haven yes, yes. and a comfort zone. So, so a lot of times when we, when we look at just being in a house, a lot of times we look at uh, development and we look at all the houses and we say they are beautiful. Yes. 
However, it's all kind of lifestyles in every house, and everyone is not a good home. But it's still a house. It's still, it's still beautiful. But when we look for a house or a home, we're looking for a place that we can relax and be ourselves and uh, uh, be comfortable. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm home. Mm -hmm. You know, I can do like I want. If I go to your house, uh, you might not have in your refrigerator what I have a taste for. You know, you you, you might not just have your setup the way I like it. I'm I'm a musician, so I might like pianos and guitars. And you might like flowers, but however you make it just the way you like it, and that you are comfortable. And also, as kids. Kids look for a house or a home yeah. to be a place where one, mom and dad is there. Uh, food is there. You know, the things that they feel like they need is there. You know, uh, advice is there. You know, uh, lights is there. If I need to work on my bike, tools are there. All the things that kids need, they feel like it's, it should be there because mom and dad is going to provide the proper things that I need. But if we uh, go into to the scriptures and we, we see the writings of David, and I'm just going to read some briefly. Uh, the 23rd Psalms is a very familiar Paschal scripture that we, we uh, a lot of times can quote by heart. But it says, the Lord is my shepherd. Mm. Help me with this next part. I shall not want. Oh my God. No want. I can raise my hand right now and just think of plenty of things in my life that I want. But Jesus being my helper, I believe that I'm going to get some of the things I want before I leave this earth. Yes, yes. David also says he's making me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Goes on to say, yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. So, so in David's writing, David was a, uh, a man that uh, came and encountered many challenges in his life. So like we do today, we, we, we come across many, many challenges in our life. And so many times when we come to these crossroads, we don't know what direction is good for us to go in. But also we want to choose the best direction. And as we go and we... Uh, uh, live this thing called life, uh, whether it be on our jobs or whether it be just in our families and just the various things of life in our finance. You know, we see where a lot of times where we can't get all the things we need just from anywhere and anybody. But David in his writing, when he was referring to the house of the Lord, he was just referring to God being his provider. God being his helper, God being his keeper, God being his strength, God being his power. He referred to God as being there. So, but, but, but he said in his writing, he said, one thing have I desired of the Lord and that will I seek after. So I just want to encourage you just for a little while this morning. Though the devil may come and he may try to destroy us and he may try to trick us and he may try to hang us up and he might, might try to give us all kind of crazy thoughts. And, and, and today and time in which we live, I've never seen so many people with suicidal thoughts. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, 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 or just wanting to, to do things to numb themselves from the pressures of life. And so many times they don't know which way to go. 
But I want to tell you today that it's in the house. Amen. It is in the house. Amen. Amen. So, so David says, one thing have I designed that will I seek after. And so I want to encourage the young people, stay in the house. Yeah. Stay in the house. Uh, uh, so many times when we live, you know, uh, I can remember when I was younger and we had to go to church. Oh, my God, we had to go to church. And my daddy was a farmer and he, uh, he was the one that worked all the time. And he'd get off of work, come home, he'd eat, he'd get on the tractor. And I wanted to do everything my daddy done. So I would get on the tractor and I'd be with my daddy. Then i see mama coming down the, down the field. And she'd say, Ronnie, it's time to go to church. And I'm wanting daddy to say something like, I'm going to let him stay with me or anything. Daddy put me off the tractor, and I had to go to church. And so, as, 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 as time went on, uh, I was a musician, so I liked it to play, but I didn't always want to go to church. I said, when I get 18, I'm going to church when I get ready. I didn't, but that's what went in the back of my head. But I remember the most darkest place in my life. And I went through a life challenge. And when I got to this dark place, I was sat down and said, I was on that holding this church straight. Set me down. I couldn't play music. Only thing I could do was sit there. My spirit man was dying. After a while, guess what? I stopped going to church. And, and, and briefly, I, I, I want to tell this part. When I stopped going to church, I, used, uh, uh, I was living out of my barbershop. And I used to go to this place to eat about, just about every day. And I get me a drink, and I eat my dinner. I never really drank before. A couple of times as children grow up, you know how we do. Every day, I was getting a drink and getting my dinner. After a while, the bartender said, this first one on me. So I get one, and then I buy me one. So now I'm getting two drinks. Before I knew it, it was one, one evening, I was walking back to the barbershop, and I was stumbling just a little bit. And in that, I recognize, one, I wasn't going to church. Two, now I'm, I'm attaching myself to other things that can destroy me. And when I seen that, I say, Lord, I know I need to be in church, but I was too embarrassed to go to church. And, and, and one thing I, I, I want to encourage people with, pass my box, is that we be embarrassed over people that's there that supposedly is doing okay. And we don't want to associate ourselves with being disturbed or being weak or being lost. So, so we, we keep ourselves away from our power source. We keep ourselves from the house. And all the time what the devil knows that what we need is in the house. So David was one that through all his troubles and all his trials, he learned how to pray and he learned how to cry out to the Lord and say, just what he needed. He said, when the wicked, even my enemies, came upon me to eat up my flesh, not me, but they stumbled and they fell. Though a host 
encamped around me. The devil will gang up on you. He will, he will seem like he have everybody against you. But David said here, he said, though all this, though, though all these things happen, he said, though war rise against me, he said, in this will I be confident. Sometimes it's when our trials come is when we see God work in our life. We don't know God is a healer unless we've been sick. We don't know that God will bring you out unless you've been in something. Somebody ought to give God some praise this morning. Amen. But I just want to leave you with that whatever you need is in the house. Don't let nobody tell you to stop coming to church. Don't let nobody tell you why you shouldn't be in the choir. Don't let nobody tell you why you shouldn't be on the finance committee. You stay in the house. Come on and give God some praise, somebody. Amen. Amen. All that you need is in the house. Amen. The devil want to tell you all the things why not to go, why not to be there, why not to listen, why not to believe. And, and he'll, show, he'll, he'll even show you people. What she doing saying she ain't no better than that, but she might not be, but she's in the house. Amen. I'm not coming to church because I got it right. I'm coming to church because I'm trying to get it right. Amen. If we could get it right on our own, we wouldn't need God. <laughs> Amen. I come to church because I need him. Amen. Amen. So, so in my closing, all that we need is in the house. Our help is in the house. Our food is in the house. Our advice is in the house. Come on, somebody ought to help me. Our joy. Our peace. Come on, somebody. Our strength is in our love. Our light so we can see. It's in the house. Come on and clap your hands and tell your neighbor it's in the house. What you need is in the house. I come to church because what I need is in the house. Amen. I hope something was said that you was lifted and that you was blessed. Pray my strength in the Lord. We thank God for the message. And thank God for the messenger. Praise God. Proclaiming God's word. Awesome job. Awesome job. Brother Scotty Pittman. Thank you for bringing us that word this morning. Um, so we have practiced um, Ty Tribbett for a closing song, but John P. Key's ring, ringing in my spirit. Come in the house. Jesus, you are welcome. But it's, you call it. You call it whatever you want to do. So the, the message was, in, it's in the house. It's in the house, and he proclaimed it, and he made it so plain, whatever we need, whatever we desire. Certainly some of us can testify uh, that we didn't want to come to church all the time. Anxiety, guilt, shame, whatever, but whatever you need, be not discouraged. It's in the house. We have witnesses that can stand and testify that you're going to make it through if you just continue to be faithful to the Lord and faithful to his word. Will there be one? Will there be one that wants to come? And you don't even have to come. You can stand or sit where you are and we'll pray with you. You are welcome in this house. Most of all, Jesus is welcome in this house. Amen. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Come, come in the house. Come in the house, yeah. Come in the house. Sorry, Brother James. Come, come in the house. Jesus, you're welcome. One of the things that's in the house, there's joy. There is joy in the house. Yes, it is. Jesus, you're welcome.
Let your glory fill the house. Let your glory fill the house. Glory fill the house. Jesus, you're welcome. Father God, we thank you for this time. We certainly feel your presence in the house. We certainly feel your spirit in the house, oh God. Jesus, you're welcome in Warner Temple, but mostly you're welcome in my house, in my heart, and in our temple, in our minds. We confess it with our mouth. We believe within our heart. And we ask you to come in our lives. We want to know Jesus in our heart. And so we will continue to come to church, whether it be by Facebook Live, whether it be just coming together, choir rehearsal, being faithful, stewards, trustees, we will continue to come in the house because everything we need is in the house. By faith, God, we believe that. I said, by faith, God, we believe that. It's more than a fellowship. It's a relationship. It's kinship, Lord, and we thank you for giving us this house. Our ancestors had to live and had to breathe and had to have worship in woods. But here we are on cushioned seats, Lord. Instruments, living in nice AC, fellowship in a nice AC. We thank you for that, the bright lights, God. We thank you for this house, and we will not dare come in here without giving your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. This is not a clubhouse, but this is the Lord's house. So we thank you, Lord, for the word, for claiming it, and reminded us to stay in the house. Come in the house. Come in the house. Come in the house. Jesus, you will. Can you break? Everybody say, come. Come in the house. Come in my heart, oh God. Come in the house. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Beautiful. Come One more time. Break right there. The Lift your voice and say, come in. Come in the house. Oh, there's a sweet spirit in here. Again, pastor's not here, however, um, we're going to ask Brother Ronnie, you know, it's our tradition that um, pastor will meet and greet the people in the back, and so if you would start making your way to the back there, you're not pastor, but you're standing, and you proclaim the word of God, you know that's our custom here. So um, now as we um, end our day of worship, she's coming, yes, come on down. We bow to the cross. Thanking and praising God for our Savior. You can keep that groove. Come in the house. You can keep that groove right there. Candle on the right represents Jesus, who came in human form. Candle on the left represents Jesus, the only begotten Son of God. Yes. But before she extinguishes the candle, she lights the candle. And we just want to uh, say that, Lord, we want to be a light wherever there is darkness. Amen? Amen. 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 So this ends our worship service here. Come in the house. Come in the house. Jesus.
Jesus, you are welcome. End it right there. Come. Amen. Um, so we'll do the amen. Let's say it all together. We'll, we'll do it. Amen. Amen. Oh, good job. Oh. Praise God. Amen. Now unto him that is able to keep us. Keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy to the only wise God, our Father, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever, forever. Amen. You may be dismissed. Shake Brother Ronnie's hand in the back. Have a great week. We love you. And we can't wait to see you next week when Pastor Barnett returns. Amen.